Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today we are going to build a cheap, simple DIY mining rig out of wood. Yes, wood. This is my second wood frame I built. The first wood frame cost about 14 bucks in supplies, and that was the height of the uh, lumber market. I went back to Home Depot today and I purchased up some more strips of wood there. You can see they're 1x2s. I didn't like the 2x2s, uh, two the, the chunks. I just went with the 1x2s uh, lighter and had the width I need and all that stuff. So it actually came to under 2 bucks per 8 foot board. And I got 3 of them. So, you know, not too bad, man. I mean, geez, 6 bucks. Hey, even with tax, I think it was six bucks. So the reason I'm doing this because I had a couple CPU rigs sitting out of the grow tent, and uh, they had GPUs on them, and they were just putting out a bunch of heat and noise. And I needed to get these. I needed to get these GPUs consolidated and inside that grow tent just to get the heat out of the room. So I did that. Got off my butt, went to Home Depot, and you can see here I'm just cutting the wood. Got the wood, was surprised how cheap it was, and decided to make the rig, instead of 24 inches in width, go with 28, because I'm thinking if I ever need it to add an extra like server power supply, one of, the, one of those HPs in addition to an ATX power supply, then I would have the extra room to add in that power supply. Uh, the first wood rack I did, which was my first video, video on YouTube, was just 24 inches wide. And I thought that was just fine, and you see pictures of that a lot on my videos. And it, it does its job, right? I got a 1,000 watt a, uh, gold uh, and EVGA power supply on that. And it just works great. That's fine. But this one I want a little more width just in case I want to put more power supplies on and start consolidating some of these 6600s. And also I had a, uh, what is a 3070 Ti outside of the grow, uh, grow tent. That one was the one with three fans and it was putting out the most heat. And I wanted to get that inside the grow tent. So, but I didn't put it on this ring. I put it on the first wood rig. And what I did is I pulled off a 6600 XT Red Devil from that rig and put it on the new one. You'll see as we go on. So I'm going to shut up here and just let the music play. It's soothing, kick back. I put this at 4x speed because you, you wouldn't want to sit through an hour me using a Ryobi handsaw, just cutting wood. You know, not excellently, perfectly just enough and here you see the actual product and there's the screws deck screws not bad they work and they won't rust right that's why I got them too again how long would these rigs last I don't know but I didn't want to spend 200 bucks on a rig or you know even 60 bucks I can build this thing and it took on and off my battery kept down on my phone and recording it took a couple hours with recording you'll see it gets dark here but anyway you can do this thing in, I don't know, realistically, hour and a half, hour. If you measure twice, cut once. You don't want to waste the wood, right? Because you did pay for it. So here I am, just measuring, cutting, and there's my countersink. I put a countersink uh, in there after I drill, pre-drill the holes, just so it won't, just so it will not split the wood. And then I countersink the holes just so the heads of the screws won't, you know, be above the surface in case, you know, uh, you know, you get a wire snagged on it or, you know, braises a wire's coating. I didn't want that. So, or you get snagged on with your clothes or something. So it's flush. Here I'm just using some wood glue just for some extra stability uh, before I put the uh, screws in with the countersinked, countersinked, countersunk holes and go from there. So sit back and watch this for a bit.
So here I'm putting in some cross members. I measured these to the holes on the motherboard so they line up so I have something to put the screws through on the motherboard just to attach them to the wood cross members. This motherboard is a smaller motherboard. It's not the typical ATX size. It's like 30% smaller than a, like an X470. Uh, I forget which one it was. I don't have it. I'll put, I'll put it up later. But anyway, I just measured where the holes were on the motherboard with the um, USB, HDMI, and all the audio inputs to the front there in the lower part of the screen. And then that's what I cut the cross members on. The ones on the left, the left two, will be for the power supply and server power supply if I ever need to do that. But at this point, I'm just going to put in an ATX power supply, 750, and this small motherboard. And then the GPUs will go across the top there. All right, work continues. I am cutting the main cross member GPU support board to length, making sure the height is accurate, make sure I didn't screw up. And there I have an old GTX 760 I'm using. It still works, but I'm using that to make sure everything's accurate and the uh, GPU mounting bracket will fit on the back top board. All right, just gluing it, have some pre-drilled holes, countersunk, a little glue and then put a screw in there and make that puppy secure and you'll see on the top back board I've got lines I just went from dead center out so it comes to like what uh, one two three six seven you could put seven GPUs across this if you wanted to I'm just gonna put initially four and again I wanted the extra length on the frame just in case I wanted to put an extra server power supply in addition to the ATX power supply. There you go, making sure it's accurate. You see me marking my drill holes for the little uh, the little metal screws that'll hold that GPU onto the frame. I'm gonna countersink those. I mean, I'm pre-drill them, not countersink them, because there's not much material to work with the edge. See, I'm right on the edge almost. So I just wanna make it so the wood doesn't split when I put the GPU mounting bracket uh, screw it. There's the screws and I will freeze frame that for you. I know I got 4x speed here. There we go. I'm just double checking and that is an older GPU so with I got a riser on it and I'm gonna put some padding which uh, came with some of the GPUs risers I have and I'm gonna cut a little square just to put under under that a riser just to give it a little like a millimeter height you know what i mean just a little bit to keep it up all right we're just adjusting stuff securing stuff gpu is bolted in place and uh, you can just sit back and watch All right, you just saw me cut a piece of foam and put under the main uh, GPU riser there. Just a little bit of extra padding. And that's it. There you go. That is the basic DIY wood frame for uh, six bucks. All right. Now we're inside. 
brought it in. I'm going to put that the motherboard on. You can see how small that motherboard is. And I can say as of now, it is working fine with four GPUs. Look at that. It's got Wi-Fi on it, but I am going to definitely use a Cat5 cable, internet, keep it, uh, keep it, keep it plugged into a router. I, I like that better than Wi-Fi. Got the uh, 750 ATX Corsair power supply there, gold. It's modular. I like that. You can put all the uh, cables right in there. I think it handles four, yeah, four VGAs. So that'll give me four right to the GPUs. And these are going to be running 6600 XT, which draw about 70 watts. So I am well within the 80% roll of that 750 power supply. So I'm just going to use that for now until I run out of power. All right, there. I'm trying to. I just put two of those screws in on either end of the motherboard into the wood cross members. That's all that works. I mean, it's fine. I didn't need to put it in every one, and I didn't even raise it up because it's. I have the slots underneath it. It's open area, just to dissipate any heat. And there's no metal contact, so I'm not worried about anything. All right. There's a riser. That's 6600 uh, XT. That was, I think, a Hellhound. There's my GPU risers with the uh, GPU riser splitter with the uh, mesh covering. Very awesome. So that's the Red Devil. And I'm just going to, you know, install it right in the middle position first and work my way out. All right, there I am rising, uh, putting the splitter in. That is a one to four PCIe splitter. And I did have some issues with it. I was just having initial problems getting these GPU 6600 XTs to run right things are crashing i just figured it was a splitter so i just reconfigure your stuff and you'll see here later on all right sit back and just watch me fumble about and that is a headlamp i have a just so i can see what i'm doing because the room isn't as bright as i wish it were so there i'm just putting the splitters on and again there's enough power to go around i'm not overtaxing the atx power supply all right keep watching enjoy And blammo, guys, there you go. One uh, DIY wood frame for six bucks. One 6600 XT installed and working. This is working and running right now on Ethereum. So here we go. I added two more 6600 XT, one extra Red Devil, and just your basic uh, power color 6600 XT on the far left. GPU risers and GPU riser splitters. There is my EVGA 750 power supply with modular uh, cables. Uh, let's see, there's the mini motherboard. It has Wi-Fi, but you see I have the Cat5 plugged in, getting some yummy internet access. All is working good, and that is an AMD, um, that's a Ryzen 5 in there, in that as a CPU. All looking good. Everything's working fine right there. And I think I do reconfigure the PCIe slots in a minute here, you'll see. So just stand by for that. All right, here we are, finished. I got three Red Devils consolidated from my CPU rigs, and I got the uh, far left one, it's a 6600 XT power color. Basic GPU, no fluff, just stuff. The thing works great, 32 mega hash on Ethereum, pulling 65 watts power. Uh, GPU risers, the white uh, splitters are GPU riser splitters with the protective mesh. There's the mini motherboard, and then there you can see the PCI risers plugged in the slots one and two with the GPU riser adapter. And then the far third slot, PCI final third slot, there you can see I have the one to four splitter, and I've got two GPUs off of that. So this card only has, this motherboard only has three PCIe slots. So, but I got right now four GPUs on it. I can put two more with no problem. And that's where it has on, that is where I'm at on this build. Things working great, it's outside the grow tent. Next step is to get this puppy into the grow tent these 6600 xt do not put out much heat at all not like the 3070 ti which is a furnace so i left this out for the night 
And you can see the length there is 28 inches wide. And uh, yeah, looks great. And it gives me room on the bottom there to put in extra power supplies if I need to. There we go again before I'm getting ready to put it into the um, into the grow tent and reconfigure it a little bit to make room. All right, guys, that is it. I moved it into the grow tent, the far right there with the three red devils. On the left is the first DIY rig I built that's 24 inches wide. Everything's working great. Everything's in the tent, functioning. I got my four rigs in there. Love it, fantastic. Thanks for watching.